Hello everyone, Jorge Huertas once again with all of you. Today I'm going to show you what is and how to use the tool Persona. This video is also available in Spanish. Well, this is a tool of mapping and understanding. It got the following characteristics. It is a tool that allows mapping a potential user, knowing their motivation, characteristics, and identify possible possibilities to intervene. Its objective is to know the characteristics of a user in order to understand it better. This tool is used in the empathy phase in a project that is being worked with the design thinking methodology or any other agile methodology. To develop this tool correctly, it is essential to collect the information in detail and be very specific in their description and analyze it in depth to generate insights that contribute to, project, to the project development. Okay, so Persona is a very important tool. Before you start developing the tool, you have to pick the user that you want to see and that you want to understand it better. So the first thing is after you choose which user you want to know more about, you have to take a picture or you can make an illustration, you put their name on. Then the demographic, it means what is the profession that of the person, what they do, what is the income that he has, the age, uh, depending of the kind of uh, project that you are developing, it's very important to see if he has or she has a smartphone, if she uses a PC, how many hours a day they use it, what kind of device use. Because nowadays it's very important to understand that every technological component will be very important to define maybe a communication channel or a strategy. So here is very important to have that kind of information. Also very important if you are doing an interview to find out all of this information, sometimes people say some quotes a lot. If they do that, you have to put it in there because it could be relevant to the development because when someone is repeating some something constantly, it means that it's important to them. And perhaps for you is not, but it's telling a lot about that person. In the spot of personal, very important to know if uh, their civil status, if he is married, a uh, single, if he has children, what kind of the, uh, responsibilities it has. Very important to make a description of all the tasks that he do a day. It means, what do you do for a job? So very important that you have all of that information. If you are very specific, it's better for the development of this tool. Then motivation. The motivations are very important because those are the drivers of a person. So what kind of things inspire, inspire him or inspire her? What motivate him or motivate her? What is your impulse to develop or do something that is extremely important because when you know what are the motivations and the drivers of a person, you can start in focus your development to that area. So very important to find out that kind of information. Always very important to know what is the objective of the person. What, what are your plans? What do you want to do? In which scenario if see in self? That is very important because Maybe he has plans for five or ten years. So it's very important to understand that and make a description of the place and space and what kind of actions see themselves doing. Characteristics. Detailed description of the situation under different components. It's very important. I mean, I could wish a lot of stuff. But when I start the description of something, it means that I already have figured it out a way to do it. So that is very important. If you have a lot of information, it will be very good for your development. Actions. 
what do I need to do to reach my goal? And that is very important that you ask that to the person because if you are making a product or a service, you need to know maybe a way to find out how can I make it appealing to that person. That is very important. As a conclusion, we can say that when you finish using this tool, you should understand the user and identify a place or characteristics that, characteristics that can be intervened. The tool allows to increase the understanding of the behavior of the user and identify opportunities that can be intervened. The key in the correct use of this tool is to be very specific and very descriptive of the user behavior and their characteristics. The more specific uh, you are with the description of the user, it will be better. So I strongly recommend that when you are collecting this kind of information, let the person talk as much as they want to. You make an open question and they start talking. If you have more information, it will be better for your development and you will have more information. Thank you so much. I hope this video will be a big help in your development. Please subscribe to our channel, Design Thinking 24-7. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Thank you to all of you. We are the number one design thinking channel and innovation channel in the whole YouTube platform. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time. Remember, every Monday we have a new video in Spanish. Every Thursday we have a new video in English. Thank you so much.